Here's another quick tip from Whole Latte Love. Mark, it's a question we get all the time. Something like, I've got a Brazza Virtuoso grinder. What setting should I use for press, drip, and espresso? Right, wouldn't it be really easy and nice if we could just say use a three for espresso, 20 for drip, and 30 for press? Hey coffee lovers, Mark and Morgan here from WholeLatteLove.com. Today we'll help you zero in on the proper grind size depending on your brewing method and learn how grind affects flavor. And if you're in the market for a new burr grinder, use the link up here anytime during this video to see our recommended favorites. So even though most burr grinders have some reference numbers for grind size, the problem is they don't transfer between grinders. So you can't just say if you have grinder X, you should set it to so and so for making drip coffee. Even between the same make and model of grinder, calibration can be different or burrs might be more worn so those numbers don't transfer. And even if they did, the grind size that makes what you consider the perfect cup may not be the same for what I consider the perfect mm -hmm. cup. So the best we can do is visually compare grind sizes and make some basic suggestions about what particle size works for different brew methods. Now the finest grinding is done for Turkish coffee, call it extra fine, extremely fine. In fact, when making Turkish coffee, the finer the grind, the better. It should be almost as fine as baby powder. Moving up in size, for espresso and mocha pots, you want a fine grind. A good starting point is something just a little finer than granulated sugar. Grind size for espresso is perhaps the most critical of all the brewing methods. For espresso, tiny changes in grind size make for big changes when pulling shots, and that's why espresso lovers are very particular about their grinders. Moving up in size, we're into the medium grinds. This is the range for drip coffee and brewing methods like pour over, siphon, and vacuum brewing. Now a couple tips for medium grinds. First, for methods using a filter like drip and pour over, use a finer sort of a medium grind for cone-shaped filters and a coarser medium grind for flat bottom filters. And second, you can use grind size to make subtle flavor adjustments. So if your cup is a little bitter, grinding coarser can help to correct that. Moving up again, we're into a coarse grind used for French press coffee. What you're looking for is something close to or maybe a little smaller than a coarse salt for particle size. Our last grind size is extra coarse. It's what you want when making cold brew and it follows a basic principle of grind size, which is the longer water is in contact with coffee, the coarser the grind. Right, in cold brewing, coffee is in contact with water for 12 hours or more. That's opposed to the fine grind used for espresso with a pressurized water contact time of around 30 seconds. And a couple of final thoughts on grind. Always grind as close to brewing as possible and invest in a quality burr grinder and stay away from those blade grinders. Right, the blade grinders hack up coffee into randomly sized bits ranging from dust to chunks. It's very difficult to get consistent particle sizes. That leads to uneven extractions with poor flavor in those yucky, muddy cups. Yeah, ew. <laughs> <laughs> we hope this video has helped you out. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you back here soon for more on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on Everything Coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Oh,